probably the highlight of June will be a total lunar eclipse. We had a partial uh, visible last year, or a little bit visible. This year is a bit better, we get a total, most of which we see here in Australia, or Central Australia anyway. It's a morning eclipse, so you'll need to get up in the wee hours. The eclipse proper begins around about 3 a.m. Uh, our time, but you probably won't notice anything, Dave, till about, about 4 a.m. Uh, our time, that's when, when the what they call the umbral phase will start. Uh, mid eclipse, like the totality, uh, is centered around about quarter to six. Um, that'll be the moon will be sort of moving lower into the western sky by then. Um, it's fairly well south actually. This eclipse is near the uh, southernmost point uh, because, of course, the sun then is near the solstice in the north, so uh, quite favorable. Um, it'll, the moon will be against the background of uh, the area called Ophiuchus, or Ophiuchus, some people pronounce it. It's interesting, Dave, because this is one of the constellations that's sort of part of the zodiac, and yet uh, astrologers don't recognise it as part of the zodiac. But um, very rich area, uh, Milky Way is very rich in that area. Uh, normally, of course, you wouldn't see that Milky Way with the moon being full, but uh, given a total eclipse, you'll be able to see a bit of the uh, Milky Way and, and rich star field in that area, so it'd be nice, some nice photographs to get out of this one, I reckon. I'd really recommend it to any of the photographers. Uh, have, a, have a try and get some shots if you can. Each lunar eclipse is different to the, you know, to the other, any other. Um, this one, they're expecting to be fairly dark because the moon passes near the center of the uh, Earth's shadow cone. Uh, this will be the, this will be a 100 minute long totality, so that's the longest since July 2000. That was, uh, I remember that very fondly. I was out doing a, uh, a show for the ABC at Desert Park. And some, some of our viewers and listeners might remember that. Uh, so, looking forward to this one, mate. That'll be that'll be good. That's probably the highlight for June. June's a quiet month for meteors. Um, just mainly sporadic activity. Uh, the sporadic activity is um, higher than normal, though, through June. So keep an eye out, especially times when the moon's out of the sky. Um, you might see five to ten meteors or per hour, occasionally more, but it's probably not because there's no major showers active in June. We might get it. We might get a few meteors out of the uh, fire area like uh, where that eclipse is going to be uh, might be worth getting to know that area uh, main star that, that they seem to come from at this time of year is uh, a star called Theta Ophiuchi uh, not a particularly bright star but uh, it's a very rich area uh, in the Milky Way it's not a particularly bright constellation but it's um, it's got a very rich mythology um, it's sort of it's known as a serpent bearer um, or some some people call it the healer of all things, not the not like the dog uh, H E A L, that sort of healer. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for those.